All right, Eric Rivera, we'll talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. I got Eric here, Fitness Phenom. I'm gonna go over, over a tutorial on how to do the dragon flag exercise, which is all core work, all ab work. Um, if you don't know what a dragon flag is, think Bruce Lee. He made this very popular during his movies, um, where you essentially hold on to something, you bring your legs up, and you control the descent coming down, right? So I'm gonna show you the actual dragon flag. I'm gonna use the bench, this bench right here. Um, so I'm going to show you the actual dragon flag, how to perform it, and if you're unable to do that, I'm going to show you some scaling options so you can progress to an actual dragon flag. So, the actual movement. You want to find a flat surface, ideally something you could hold on to. So we have this bench with this bar right here, this is perfect, right? So, you're going to lay on your back, you're going to hold on to the bar. Starting position, then you bring your legs up. Now, when you bring your legs up, you want to drive your hips up. Bring your legs up, knees, ankles, feet together, toes pointed. You're going to control the descent coming down. As you control it coming down, keep those hips up. Right? You're driving those hips up. Back up. Nice and controlled. Nice and controlled. Now, one of the most common faults I see when people do these dragon flags is that they break at the hip. You don't want to break at the hip. Meaning, when you're up, you do not want to do this. If you notice, my hips are coming down first. You want to drive the hips up and create that straight line. So that we're here, driving the hips up, Creating that straight line, and then coming down. Control it back up. Drive those hips up. Nice and controlled. Coming down, right? Now, if you're unable to do that movement, right? It's a lot of core work. You need a good amount of core strength to go ahead and be able to get that done. Right? Here's some scaling options, right? One of the best things to do is to break at the knee. Meaning, when you're back here, when you're up, instead of having your legs extended, you bend at the knee right, and bring your heels towards your butt. However, when you do this, as you work, drive those hips up. First thing that touches the floor should be your heels, right? not your butt. Right? Do not break at the hip. Do not do this. That is not a dragon flag. Keep scaling. In regards to how many sets, how many reps you want to get, it all depends on your fitness level. It depends on how strong your core is. Um, one rep is very demanding. It's not like a setup or a leg raise or anything like that. Um, so that being said, if you can only do one at a time, if you gotta scale it down and only do one at a time, that's fine. Do about five, 10 sets of singles. Now, if you're able, able to get a few in a row, um, let's say you can do five reps, right? You can do five, anywhere between five to 10 sets of those five reps, of those five repetitions in. So get those reps in, that's gonna help. So again, your two options. Your scaled option, Bent knees, regular, legs extended. So, go ahead and give that a try. Get your reps in, rest in between your sets. It's a great core exercise. The stronger your core, the better your calisthenics game will be. Your pull-ups, your dips, your push-ups, your muscle-ups. If you lift, the better your bench, deadlift, squat, etc. Right? So give that a try. Let us know how you do in the comments. Follow me on the gram, Fitness Phenom 21. YouTube, same thing, Fitness Phenom 21. Let me know how you guys do. All right, links to his social media will be in the description box. Thanks a lot, Eric. Appreciate it. All right.